Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the PUBG European League. It is the promos, and what does that mean? It means four teams will be joining the other 12 from PUBG European League next season. But who will those four <laughs> be? We've had Tornado Energy turn up and win this morning. Uh, yesterday, yes. Tempus won three games, though, so they've got a bit of work to do to catch up with those uh, boys, the two yellow teams, the Danes. But uh, it's a good start for the Russians. We do. Uh, we do have that. And what we have now is Twitter questions. Oh, oh, God. We've oh got God. Twitter questions. What's your favorite weapon to use? What is it? Uh, at the moment, I actually don't know. Mine, these mine's days. the SKS. SKS. Or are you? These days, right? Do we, do we go all time or? I still like it. The thing is, right, okay, so <laughs> I love the SKS. Yeah. But the squad always dies when I have an SKS. Sometimes you got to do it so the it's team, like, right? You're like, I'm it's sorry, like, guys. oh my god, I've got a fully geared out SKS. Now, obviously, you found all the attachments, you got a little bit, and you're like, mm. you're little hobbitses, and then you're like, ah, oh, I'm fully geared up, and then okay. you kind of get overconfident, right? And you kind of take those I don't get overconfident with an SKS. Like, you mad. Or one of your teammates starts taking a random fight in the middle of a field, and you're just like, "What are you doing?" They've just—they didn't see us, but now they're shooting at us. Yeah, I, I'd say okay. In the current patch, probably the vector these days. Really? I actually love it. Yeah, because because yeah. you can just run around with the thing. You got to get the extended just, though. You're yeah, of course. I mean, it's, it, yeah. like there's no point even talking about it before we get the extended bag on it. Probably the vector extended, nice little vert on it. Still like the vert. I don't know why. I still like it. Um, beautiful gun to play with. Uh, out of a crate, MK14 every time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, the the that's, arm gives me too much anxiety, dude. I'm sad that well, just that's like, that's Obviously, you know, SKS or 10K14 is it's almost just a slight upgrade. A slight. slight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, like, I used to love the... I, like, back in the day, Scar, you know, used to love watching Break when he was actually relevant. You know, I'm, spray. I'm absolutely crap with the spray. I, I, just, I assume I'm when it comes awful. to aim, it's... Yeah, I'm just god awful <laughs> with the spray. Yeah, no. Um, used to love used to love the Scar back in the day. I that got I used butchered. to be the, the one-tap AK. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh god, he's spraying! I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, for the M416 uh, these days, though, as an AR, still like that. Still like it. Still like it a little bit. It's you know, break shade from me. Well, I never. Well, I never. Would I? Would I dare? Would I dare? Go buy your break skins now. Are they Hashtag actually add. I don't know. I don't think they are. Yeah. Are they going to come out I at the same time as PGC skins? It's not going to get anything. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be like that? I, I honestly, I just PGC want to skins are good. Over. They do, they yeah. do, they do. Apart from like the weird like headphoney things, or is it like and smartwatch? Why do I want a smart? Does it does it show me the next circle? Like, is there some like magic I, going on? I just love the fact you can start throwing weapons at each other. All, suddenly, all the baseball bats make sense. I do like seeing like pans. Suddenly, being yeah, the, the pans being chugged, the crowbar. I was watching uh, Profi's little crowbar back and forward fight that he had the other day. It was good. Yeah, I haven't had have a chance to play yet because I've been out here. No, no, I'm just, I've been I'm watching. I'm trying to like, download it on server, my laptop right? and it's just like, all right, here we oh, go. I wouldn't even here try it go. on my laptop. My, my 10 FPS is raring to go. Hash Speaking hashtag of... Hashtag need a laptop. Yeah, any sponsors out there, don't <laughs> trust me with your products. It never seems to go well. Uh, anyway, speaking of raring to go, the plane is about to set off and we'll be diving back into Miramar game. Two coming up. Game one today, Tornado Energy. Good to see them out there. I'm glad Frost said it on the desk a little bit about, you know, taking both fights, sitting right in the middle. Bit dangerous. It did work out for them, though. I'd like to see a world where that could have fallen apart. Let's find out what happens in game seven overall, second of today. Miramar's about to come up. So will it be a deep south plane? Will we have something a bit a little bit more friendly? That is going straight across Los Higos. It is going to be good for just about everyone, I think, uh, skirting around the edges of Los Leones. And if you look onto the left, you will see Picardo up to Grisadova. These days, my guilty could, pleasure could is could watching like captain. airplane stuff. I think like I could do it. Lufthansa do these really cool videos. Again, not Spawn. Really would like don't, that as a spawn. Don't. Wait, wait, wait. Don't. Because you'll get Paul start talking about flight, flight, Microsoft oh, Flight 2020. I'm really 2020. excited for it. I'm hyped for it that. Looks good, it, it looks really good. Anyway, she's like a bloody Bing and uh, no, yeah, Google, Google Maps or whatever it is. Like, it's she's not yeah, it's Bing, so cool. yeah, Bing. It's Microsoft, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm like a big, I'm a big dweeb about that stuff. I sat there and watched the, I think it's the A380 takeoffs and stuff, uh, and oh, oh, a little bit of V1 anyway, tape. Oh. Anyway, well, look, it's a plane. It's relevant. We've right? got, we got it's totally gone distracted now. I can't. There, I don't know. I couldn't. Tell you what that model is, that plane. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, and it, I, used to, I used to know, but now I don't. Yeah, this fly. Was that back when See, this fly is annoying me. That's what's annoying me. Back when he used to have to travel. Yeah. I had to fly, had to fly from landing. Land I mean, in. I was just saying. I came from old. your motherland, I, I your, just, your home I was territory. Just saying, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what are these circles? 
Okie dokie, Jones. We so, have an east to west. Uh, I mean, okay, this circle, you all know it. You will love it. It is a tricky one. Obviously, we have the, the big unplayable area on the, the western side of the circle. But more importantly, we have multiple pits and valleys within it. Uh, certainly, the center point is pretty much La Jolera. Uh, and with nobody, like, face landing Monte Nuevo, uh, mad, there it? is so much open territory. And everybody that can cross that plane, Bernie Christ, obviously, it went uh, sort of cutting across the middle of the map, everybody went to the eastern side oh. is thinking right now, how the hell do we get into this circle? How do we get around these teams? It's going to be a tough one. Yeah, it is. And I mean, I'm rolling my mind back to, to think about where did this circle go? You obviously have Monte Nuevo. <laughs> you have that area north of it. But we've seen differences in these circles. We, we've seen it pull to the west this, twice. Yes. Hard, hard That's shift west. That's what I was about to say. That kind yeah. of slice that runs up just kind of off, you know, the it very southern everyone. coast. Because you can't just pass through, you know, you can't just no. go from hill to hill. It's no, like it's, it's steep out there and yeah. teams are littered everywhere on it. There's a lot of room for teams to be able to hold down angles, but Tornado Energy have a huge chance at this. Well, that and, and Digital Athletics, this is a mm. great chance for them uh, to go into the sort of Ladrillera. I think Mert's already heading there, but looks a bit. So, you know, coming up to the three minute mark, they're already looking, obviously dropping Chumacera anyway. So it's an easy drop for them. Gaming Legion looking towards maybe uh, uh, some of the compounds up that way as well. Uh, Train Hard have just got into Monte Nuevo and the sort of the compounds surrounding it. So they're all in good positions. It's it's teams that are far afield that are going to have these struggles. You know, the, the Jokers, it shouldn't be too bad for. But for someone like PG-18, it's going to be a tough old run for them. Ents even, maybe even, because they've got to figure out rotation routes to get past this plethora of teams ahead of them. I do feel as though for someone like Ents, their traditional... Pathing, they to the, they, they, they'll know yeah. they'll know their rotations. I don't think they'd be too surprised. I'm looking at Tempest as well. I'd like to see them have a better performance here. It wasn't awful in the last game, but you know they, if they're going to do a world tour, I mean, I want to see them pop off mm. again. They're an exciting team to watch when it goes well. So for me, they're an exciting prospect, but yet to find its form here. DA maybe converging together now. We do see the others heading over, but Sixmo's not alone here. Yeah, train hard as I mentioned. They were nearby, so. Both teams got the same idea. La Trilera, these compounds sort of in and around it. You have a good vision uh, angle all around you. Uh, Solar, meanwhile, this is the problem for Train Hard. They are in multiple positions, multiple separate positions, and they're getting pulled up on by Tempus. Yeah, Solar's on the run. He's out of there. Three players just pull up at his compound. He has no shot at holding on to that. And he's just trying to hope to get away, but from up on the hillside, that's someone else firing in. <laughs> Is that DA? No, that's good. This game of Legion taking that's shots game at him. Legion. Now, the problem is that uh, whoever that guy is that's up with Mert, he was taking shots down on Trainard. He gave his position away. Mert absolutely knows where he was. He's Noki. So Noki's having to back away from that one because DA moved in on force. The second he took shots, they all came his direction. Trainhard are actually in so much danger here. It's not just like one player that's being pushed. It's yeah. They've got a couple of really bad loose ends Fex to try and help. Fex is going down to get this. So he wants to get that. He's going to get A, get that compound. Yep. And if he goes off to the left, he'll have a good angle on Solar. What's he going to do with this, though? He wants to probably keep the car safe if there is hard shifts. So, and I'm liking how T uh, Tornado Energy are approaching this. They're going to take that that prime position yep. on that lower slice hillside. And they've been greedy about it as well, which can work. Northern Lights, this is, this is a camp and a half. And that's a big pickup there. That's points in the pocket. That's lovely. Little upgrade on the loot if he wants it. But that is a straight up, you know, roadblock sit and wait. Yeah, this is, this is what we were talking about. Obviously, you know, the, what they've done is, it's just, that's the road just uh, to the west of San Martin. They've caught the teams coming out of that. Sort of from Hacienda onwards. and. As I was saying, everyone that was in the eastern side, they've got a tough, tough rotate to get into position for this one. Unity, this is a risky run for them. They're going sort of straight through to Chumacera. Now, inside gaming uh, are also up there, I believe. Yeah, they're just on the top of Chumacera, sort of also passing through. So we might see some of those uh, hopping into passenger seat drive-bys. Oh, good gans, and they're a long way out. Oh, yeah. I want to see where the teams kind of uh, gamble towards here. It looks like most of them are banking on south of Monte Nuevo, which is more centralized. I'm surprised not many more teams have bet on the north. Now, it, it's yeah. just purely because of what we've seen thus far. I mean, there is no telling <laughs> where it goes. Um, but I like what Tornado Energy are doing so far to me. They're probably my more favored team looking at their positioning. I like their starting point. They haven't had to go far. They've got a really good position now. Everyone else is kind of on the eastern slice, just uh, to the left of them. Kind of DA are very central here. Coming in over Valtamar, that's crew. And it, it's funny you do mention the circle because obviously, you know, we should take into account that, look, power grid's in there, there's the fields outside Pozo, yep. all of yep. these sort of territory. Very we've common seen areas. Many, many times throughout phase three. 
Um, it does feel like we're on a, a slightly different... Um, I don't know about version, I'm not too sure what... I, I was trying to think of the word earlier and I still couldn't remember the... Uh, iteration, there we go. Slightly different iteration of PUBG. Uh, the circles definitely seem a little different from Phase 3. We'll find out. Obviously, they were they were very different yesterday. And so far, it's... Uh, well, yeah, today's one was okay. It was like kind of kind of semi-standard, the first one. Yeah. So we'll see. So, Mackinac, that's... Air uh, Station might come in a little close. Um, I'm still not sure I agree with what the analyst has said on that about Air Station Mike's play. I feel that if you'd have seen Phase and Liquid in that same sort of spot, they would have played it very differently and uh, gone maybe aggressive uh, on one of the teams like Enz in the north or something like that. Rather than you know, sit and wait and turtle it up, they'd maybe been proactive in their play. I think for me it's just sometimes there isn't always a good plan. Sometimes you're left with three bad options and you just have to try and yeah, make a yeah. play that gives you a chance beyond the one you've been gifted. And, I mean, for me, someone who did that really well yesterday was Tempest. They didn't necessarily always have the best position. They did have some yeah, good positioning. Yeah. Late game circle, they took some gambles that potentially banked on them having to, I guess, overcome certain well, scenarios. I mean, you think of the, the first game that they won, it was it was basically uh, Hyun and... Uh, no, it was Hanny, wasn't it? That yep. just went off. He managed to... He was the only one that survived. And then he survived and survived and survived. Yeah, <laughs> and it, killed again, everyone. Sometimes it, it's. I think everyone playing PUBG these days knows what it's like. That you don't always have that easy route in front of you. There's no easy way. There's no comfortable. You've you've been out positioned, out adjusted, and sometimes the circle moves away from you, and you have to make a move that may be your downfall. They had so many smokes. They had so many options. Again, I'd I'd love to see an actual breakdown of that situation. I'd love to hear the desk thoughts in you know in actuality with a, a replay with analytical tools so they could maybe if only. Work that out. Wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be a treat? Wouldn't that be the dream? Uh, right. Anyway, back into this one. We still see teams working out. It again. I don't think this is going to get interesting until we see where that circle really heads to. Um, Joker's opting for the western wall. Just going to hold that down. Again, they're coming in late. They're not going to get much of a better shot at this. And uh, you can see the most of the teams um, kind of actually compost. I like this from Tornado, Tornado Energy. They're they're yeah, kind yeah. of Split 50 50 splitting. Yeah. Now, yeah, they're getting engaged on by. You know, the last crew, that's, that's fine. It doesn't really bother me. It's just... That's a big hill they're shooting across there. Yeah, that's a long, long old Let's distance between the two. Oh, Whoa. there we go. Here it is. That's why I'm surprised that no one went so further north. And this is literally what we were talking about. It was like those big compounds, outside Pozo, etc. We've seen the circle compound. finish here so many times. The phase compounds, effectively. Yep. And the, uh, the Pittsburgh Knights compounds. The Knights above, right. And it, it swings to the north. So the question is, right, okay, everybody is obviously going to go south to north. Uh... The problem is when someone stops and they think, I've got my central point, I'm going to stop here. Then the southern edge just gets squashed and everybody has to find the position. For example, look inside Gaming is 7 or coming on parallel to each other. Joker's passing by Trainhard. Trainhard decides to stop outside Monte Nuevo. They don't go further apart from Noki. Noki's gone for the hillside, which is prime. So they've gone for a real greedy... Uh, well, they're trying to do a 2-2 split, but it's a 3-1 it's a split at the moment. God, Northern Lights, what a spot for them. Instantly slotting in towards that phase compound. So hard to crash and breach. Yeah. They're going to hold that one down unless they make some terrible errors. Game of Legion locked out towards the southeast as well, <laughs> up against Tempus. And actually, I don't mind the, the likes of Tornado Energy saying, well, we can't we can't get there now. We were the ones further south. We need to just decide that, well, we can't make it away from the southern side without risking masses. Maybe they could move more central if they have time to scout, which should be after the circle hits. I, I would have liked to have seen Tempest moving. Tempest have not moved. Tempest have stayed where they are. Same as Gaming Legion. Bjorn's trying to scout out and find a spot, but because Tempest have not moved, the Gaming Legion saw sat there going, they're not moving. We can't, we can't continue on because they've not moved. Uh, you know, if you if you look at the territory, they could have obviously where the central point is is kind of Monte Nuevo. You don't want to commit to Monte Nuevo, no. but you can kind of go to the northern edges of it, yeah. or as Northern Lights did into that compound there. Tempest could have got there first. Yeah, I actually don't mind Quick Maths' position either. I think who's kind of got the lay of the land so far is your Northern Lights are winning. I'd say Quick Maths aren't far from yeah, it. Yeah, the Monte Nuevo um, north side. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually quite a nice little position. It's hard to transition away, but again. If there's another hard, we've seen a lot of hard shifts. If this goes south, everyone's kind of been put under pressure again. You've got to imagine it will move away from that west wall, though. Uh, Elga Ganton are going to come cruising in out the blue from San Martin, and the the main compound outside the fields of El Pozo is wide open. Yep. Nobody's gone to it yet um, because everybody was down south. Okay, here's the question, guys in chat. Put one in chat if you think Northern Lights are winning this game just because of that position. 
I want to see how many of you believe the circle is going to go there and two, the Northern Lights can do it. I'm curious because I, it's, it's, just, it's just in my mind So right it's got now. two ways because we've seen it pull to the eastern side of that compound as well before. And if it does go over that over that hill, it can hurt. Actually, I think FaZe still won even when they, from that compound. Yeah, they did. Uh, so, I don't know. But anyway, that was FaZe. It's a very different thing. There's no FaZe in this lobby. True. Um, Tornado Energy, though, have got PG-18 passing by them at the moment. The two Russian teams connecting with one another. Unity have decided to stay way down south. Uh, El Gigantin just coming on the edge hillside up in the north side, El Popozo Hills. Uh, Jokers are slowly getting further. Train harder in a good position on that hillside as well. Near the Jokers. They have to worry about the Jokers first. So where's Ents going to end up? Okay, they're going northern Monte Nuevo. That's close to quick mouth. The Finns all thinking alike. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we're in for. This is, is going to be so interesting. If this hard shifts anywhere... Whoa. Watch it go back down to the ledger there. It, it could. There's nothing DA saying no. it can't. DA no. <laughs> they like know technically, things. it could... Sh what? Oh. <laughs> wow, the phase compound. It's lost its power. They've changed the setting. Something's they've changed. Cha they've changed the setting. Something's happened. 100%. We've got new... It's new uh, saying new it. No way. New settings. Oh, seven and Ents are crashing for the same compound. Only one member have got there first. Edelweiss is the first man there. The rest of Ents are coming in. Seven of Steck with his 2 2 oh, split. So Dominic up. is with him. He's grows it up. Yeah, this is looking good for them. And they're kind of caught. Oh, Rustam Ma. That's a big hit. So Dominic, I think he can bank this off the wall. He can. He can bank that around the side there. It was a nice little nade. They've seven have backed off. It looks off. like they're, yeah, they've lost the war here. Ents just kind of piled in. They put their numbers in. Seven could retake this, but I don't think they can really do much. They're, they're, but they're back I, to the safety, right? Because yeah. they've got. They've got the, the cover fire from the other side of the hills so they can back to this compound knowing full well their backs are safe they only need to worry about what's in front of them I love the way all the PEL players are sat there looks like now we get these circles uh, oh no this is this is a bad pull up oh. PG-18 you better mop this one up so, really swiftly so there's, there's there's a couple of things right when and I, it was funny because I was talking to Velen about this a, uh, a moment ago. I was talking about Game Allegiance pull up, which they showed um, getting Whoop. getting wrecked oh, yesterday as a smoke. Yeah, avert <laughs> smoke. I was like, Wait, um, baited him. They baited just me. they just drove straight in, and you know it's not like you, you're not pulling up on edge buildings or anything like that. Just drove into the center of them, and <laughs> yeah, you just all died. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah, because you just drove into the center of them. <laughs> it's not, a, like, not a great idea. I mean, it's the worst thing you could do. It's not, not one of the best it's, of plans. It's still surprising how often you see it happen. Yeah. All right. Who is in trouble here? Tempus. Way out of it for now. And it looks like they're not sure where they want to take this either. With that western portion in... Okay, so yes, we know the western chunk is very unplayable. But even that little kind of section of road just off towards the left of it... There, there isn't much territory. There are some dips, but it's just so far from ideal. There's no big hard cover to play with. You don't have, you know, buildings or even you know, much more than that. So it is going to be this kind of centralized portion. Um, and so far, Ents still looking pretty good on this. If they could, if they could get rid of seven, I think they'd be so happy if they could. But I don't think it's going to happen for them. If it pulls away from Monte Nuevo, it's going to get very interesting. Inside game and in quick math are practically on top of each other. Uh, Mikas is also still in Monte Nuevo and Northern Lights as well on the, the northern side. They're just building to building right now, so all very close to one another. For my money, Tempus, look at Tempus is 2 2. Look at that. They've yeah, got two, so they, they really don't know where it's going to go now. No. They've got I, two down South La Drillera and they've got two way out on the east. I reckon either. I think north. I think it's going to go north. I think it's going to barely have Monte Nuevo on. I think, yeah. I might be. I, I, it's just a. Complete guess. Northern Lights going to find one of Tempus. Tempus are in a world of danger. They, they have no idea where to go. They've lost down all rotations oh, here. Jab. Oh, dear. Let's have a look. It's in a bad way. Centralized up. Okay, Ents are looking perfect in this for them. And, yeah, Jappy's had, had none of it. He's gone down. Again, though, Ents have got really good position. So do Jokers here. Yeah, they, they fought for it, but it's worked out. Mikaz still inside as well on the edge of Monte Nuevo, so he can get points off the teams have to try and push it out of there. Uh, Hjordan will go down. Northern Lights will find him. Uh, that was one of the teams out on the far eastern side. There's still two on the far south. Now, Unity, this can work for them. They were down on the south edge. They can just bank around on the uh, the far western side of the circle. As Station Mike, they were also up on the hillside. They're still not in the circle. They're in this horrible position outside of Monte Nuevo. And it's just not, not, yeah, they've just kind of looked and went, yeah, that's not a position we really want to play out of, but we've got no other options. 
Yeah, this is that big middle portion is so unplayable with that massive field in it. It's just going to be brutal everywhere. Um, smallest pieces of cover are now absolutely paramount. And we're going to have to see who's going to hold on to it the best here. At this point, we still have 16 teams alive. So that southeast, that Monte Nuevo side, as you said, if it moves away from Monte Nuevo, it's going to start hurting. And it is. Gamer Legion oh in between a lot of players now. Just hear that. <laughs> My vehicle is dying, and I am dying with it. That's uh, yeah, it's not going to work out for him there. Uh, Air Station Michael backed away. They're, so they're, they're really trying to find a position here. They're thinking, do they swing around the north? I don't know. Okay, Ganton have done the same. Have got in there. Unity have swung out on the far western side now. So it's a good looking good for them. Hanny is uh, eating. Look at the meds he's got. He's actually managed to get a point from it as well. So you know what? It's worked out for him. <laughs> Does he get a heal off? I'm not too sure he will in the, it's the phase three blue. It's going to be a hit in the phase four blue, sorry. Yeah, he's still alive for now. And the rest of his team are in the he's south, way far away. Miles out in the yeah. blue, though. He is very far away. It's going to double buffer in a minute as well. Yeah, so once he's, it hits, he's, screwed, he's, yeah. he's dead. But he can try and stay alive for now. Ooh. Brave from Northern Lights. Well, that's interesting. I'm wondering if Air Station might get going to go on that, because that was oh, a knock Bjorn. on the team they're up against. All right, Game of Legion. It looks like they picked their path. Bjorn leading the way. Metralius other side of this compound. Now, we do have a couple of other teams not far off who can get angles on this. Hesitation might just try to make that push across the road and got shot by everyone. Yeah. Train hard, Northern Lights, the lot. A little late in the day to be doing it. Bjorn on the breach, Metralius on the back here. DA getting ready. They're like a hornet's nest. Look at them buzzing around, all waiting to go. Look at Pixel in the oh, distance. Oh, so. yeah. He's watching the seven aren't far off. You've got a lot of teams. If they see a little bit, they'll take those shots, and that instantly puts that team on the back foot. So they need to be careful here. Bjorn opting to go on the safer side, but already a couple of shots come through. Clib eventually bleeds out from Mackendark. That's from another fight, but Metralius finds Bjorn. He was the kind of... Uh, Point man in this scenario. Hamster turns on a dime. It's Fex to deal with six more though. And DA are struggling. A jump out from a beautiful death. He does get traded on. Mac and Dark and Fex are still standing. And Merle on the other side. Fex has seen it. Yeah, I think he definitely just saw him peep out there. He was going for the flush, but he saw the peak. And that's brought him time to duck back in. So Mert now the solo man. Fex is probably going to get some of his teammates back on his feet. He's not too sure. McIndark's still going to be the man that holds angle. Goes for the peak around the side. And I thought that's going to be a little tricky going for a solo peak. Mert might be able to flush that one off as well. He's going to catch him behind that building. His smoke, though, is blocking his angle. Is he going to try and vault out and try and push it here? <sighs> Fex is having to hold. Yeah. It, it, look at inside gaming. They're flanking around from below. Oh, my God. If Mert can just get some of these points. Prone down. There it is. Looking for the flush. Oh, no. Oh my god, away. he just used the tire as cover. He gave his spot away because he went for the Five flush. Five head. Five head can he, can he get the revives off in time? Because you know, Game of Legion, while they won the battle and they got the four points, Inside Gaming, they're pushing seven just right next to that. Meanwhile, you can see Northern Lights, they've gone aggressive on Jokers. They've got also got Quick Math coming in behind them. This is all coming out of Monte Nuovo. We knew it was going to be pretty harsh out of here as soon as it centers up away from it. Mikaz was the solo man for Entz that stayed in Monte Nuovo. He was trying to get as many points as he can for Entz while they stay in there. Yeah, Ooh, good couple of nades coming out. Actually, doesn't catch deep as much as I thought it would. He does stay alive, but the blue will just catch him in the heels. I think he's been lost now to this one. El Giganta making the crash. PG-18 on the back foot. Deez is looking a little worse for wear. Going to try and get the heel off, and the nades come through. This is going to keep El Giganta back for a second. The Wanderer, Recrent on the push. Smoke comes up, but they get the vision first. So, Gaming Legion are going for it on towards Seven. Now, Seven just decimated uh, Inside Gaming's two players that push the same spot. It looks like it's not really worked out for them, and that has not worked out for El Giganta. Anthony either. Good Lord. That went badly wrong. It went badly wrong for Game of Legion. Two members of seven who just wiped them out. How have they lost that one? Right now, PG-18 are holding on. The trades were initially quite good for El Giganten coming in towards the garage building, and they lost that momentum. They lost the angles, and PG-18 finally stepped up and delivered. IG and seven still in a scrap. Se seven have just got... They must be at least 10 kills now. They've just wiped out IG and Game of Legion. Two members, Buster and Krabic, have just gone off with a little help from range from Edelweiss from the other side of the field. Seven kills and counting. They just they just wiped out those two teams. <laughs> Ooh, train hard accuracy, not an issue for them. 
Uh, could have find Mika as he tries to join the rest of his squad. He could have been a really useful member of the team just to be able to play off angles for them, allow those three to maintain the compound, but that's not to be anymore. Train hard, have the high ground in the northeast. The seven still have this great north-south split, so whichever way this goes, if it goes hard over to the west, then yeah, they're, they're in trouble. But at the moment, they are gaining a lot of points, and you can see the train hard have this horrible push down the hillside. Uh, Ends also going to be covering them off. PGAT back on their feet now as well. Unity watching Tornado Energy. So Compot, he's trying to get a position. He's trying to move and get a, a different spot for his team here because he knows if it pulls anywhere away from this south shift, it's going to hurt. He's just about alive with that vehicle explosion. Oh, I don't know how he is. Unity might be able to find like a pixel on that. If they do, he's he's dead. So that worked out worked. well. Look at this. Look at the circle. That is that. This is exactly what we were talking about Air Station Mike doing. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they weren't pressured from behind, so it's a different type of setup, but that's what, exactly what Compot moved. He's just give his team an out from that circle. Yeah, even if the rest of them don't make it, at least they might be able to stay alive in another circle, hope that maybe someone falls in the process. It's, it's trying to hedge your bets, trying to play the best hand you can, even if you've been dealt very bad cards. And the rest of Tornado Energy, as they try and leave, yeah. are now going to suffer. They, they, they can't do anything. They would have died here otherwise. So there's, there's two ways of doing it, right? Obviously, you either go as one and get yourself a position, but it might give the rest of the team away, or you go all as one, and uh, you get out there because once Rick once one's on. gone, it gives a position away. Rukrenz is trying to find an angle, but train nice hard still there. That's really really good from Dees, able to provide a bit of covering fire to allow the scout to get back to the team. They go, okay, well this is still not a great option, but with these knocks coming in, it's time to go. Nade in hand, PG18. Are they finally waking up or no? Oh yes. Rukrenz got oh, that yes. big nade. Just bounces too far. Didn't quite find the boys on the other side. Well, Dees is going to continue lobbing them. They're all rolling up. Firex has had to completely took himself in. That one's just rolled right by onto Phantom. Phantom's going to have to back away from that one. Took half his health, but it's done the damage. It's done enough. It's forced them backwards, and PG can now try and push the flank. Instead, they're going to back away. He wants to get Recrent back on his no feet. Way. No way. No way is he recovered. Should have just pushed it. Should have pushed Phantom there. Is he got time on this? Mm, the blue's pushing. I'm not too sure about that. They're going I mean, for it, though. They want to get the three back on their feet, and he could work out I don't blame them, but that's a really risky oh, pickup. No. Uh-oh, Unity's seen it. They've seen them. They're completely exposed to Unity. So, and they've got nothing. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if Trainer will wipe them here. Well, Grant's back on his feet. They were able to pull it off. It's a really risky move to go for. But hey, with this, you know, the circle moving slowly, why not try and go for it? And well, we see Tornado Energy managed to get two in the circle now. So they have made some progress. This now puts a little bit of a problem with Seven, at least the southern portion of Seven. They now need to maybe join the rest of their team, Edelweiss and Sudovnik over in the north. So effectively cover fire coming out. I wonder if they're going to try and find another position elsewhere in the circle rather than join the rest of their team. I think that's what they might do. They're trading fire at the moment. They, I did just see them moving a vehicle, so they have something there. Seven do, ready and waiting to go. Uh, PG-18 are going to go down low ground. Training hard are going to have to go back the other way. That does push them into the clutches of Entz, who I think Squeak is the one that's watching the angle at the moment. Yeah, you can see from the window. So he just gives the warning sign to the rest of his team. Everybody in the house flanks over to the back windows. Oh, Compost just been called off round the corner there. Not able to get so, anything else done. We can't put down. I wonder if that's where the rest of seven are going to head to. Wow. <laughs> Unity, they've got the ridge line of that road. They're in a great spot now. Grant on the push, needs to land this one, needs a headshot to get him out of the danger zone here. Noki on the peak over, finds Ubika. This is big from Draenard, managing to turn this one around and they want to push it for, oh, self-nade, just to confirm it, Deez is still alive. Third party help coming in from Unity. It's nothing worse than getting shot when you've just pin pulled the pin out of the nade, is that Deez, the last man standing. The problem for Draenard is if they push it, they've got multiple shots, Deez will get another point for the team. Now we see Entz, the oh, Grozer. Vice. Oh, it works wonders, doesn't it? And well, Squeaky took Trifleet down as well. Um, Don't know. You're not, not going to worry F about boys, it. F-Boys, F-Chat. Look at uh, Seven, and Look at Seven's reposition. They got, to the, they got to the hay bales as well. That's so They've well played, played this very well, Seven have. Uh, nine kills and counted for them. Unity over on the side, though. They're the ones with the prime position at the moment because they have the ridge line. But if it does pull away from that road, they're screwed. If it doesn't, if it goes back over to that west side, they're laughing because like, yeah. everybody's got to come their way across an open field. Mel Man managed to jump a couple of spots here for his team. Ooh. And actually still alive for now. 
not easy to work forward. I, I don't know how much he's going to be able to get away with. He needs a lot of help from everyone else to keep, you know, eyes pinned down and not be able to do much with it. Another jump in position coming through. Melman again. That play's worked out well for them, considering it was that last ditch attempt. So the last man of last crew has been found out, which is he was impressive. Trying to sneak it away. It's impressive that they got fifth place out of it because you know the rest of his team had died a long time ago, and there was still 15 teams standing. Mailman is Aww. is known about. It's just a case of when he gets picked off, he's trying to crawl into the circle as best he can, but realizes he's going to have to make a, a run for it. Dees, don't forget about him. He's still out on the north side, but he's very much against seven. And you can see Melman got the shot. Is this just a CIS lobby right now? Yes, yes, full CIS. Not bad. It's a four-way CIS. Yeah, it is looking very CIS right now. Seven under fire, though. We saw a couple of those knocks coming out. Sadovnik is down. Krabbik and Buster still alive, and Unity continue being the firing squad. Dees is laying quiet. He wants none of it. Seven get the circle, and Unity are making the play. They have to. They've got to try and isolate uh, one of these players. Buster. Buster. Buster lands the shot, Buster. Buster? No, Buster. He's got five nades, though, so now they've come into the nade range, he's going to bomb that, uh, that little hay bale that he's got behind. But, yeah, Buster just... Absolutely wet the bed there and trying to uh, make a play. PG18 caught out. So Dees, they knew about him. And now 3v3. it's a 3v3. It's all on. All An right. octave should never be there, Snoopy by the way. Snoopy has time to run up. He can get to this uh, hay bale. So That's he's nades. in. Yeah. Might get naded out by seven if they have any. That's but probably quite likely. Buster's definitely nading that hay bale. That's going straight towards him. They're kind of nading each other. Who's going to find it first? Snoopy did eat one, but it didn't finish him off. The second one will. That's going to get him a knock. And that's Snoopy down. The second one will confirm it. Krabbit will take that. Orange Takes it to vehicle? a 2-2. Two -two. Orange has to dash in a vehicle. The flank around, and now they're going to catch him. Woo. So he goes off to the side. Buster still with two nades left. Is he going to be able to push up? I don't think so at the moment. He's got to wait for his team to help him out. Orange is not quite You've got yet. four nades. Get it in that shack. How, how far do you think he can throw? He could get in that shack. Nah. Maybe. It's a little far. Okay. So, spot out to Dominic. Orange is in danger because he's not quite in yet. And I don't think he's going to be able to find a way through. They need to isolate one of these players. They can get Sadovnik down. Maybe there's a chance for Orange to get in. But I think Sadovnik knows the scenario. He's not overpeaking this one. And there we go. Buster no. finds Orange. And it's all on an Occutive. Ooh, instantly put down. This is not looking likely. Yeah, the flank's coming out. Here comes the nade from Buster. That Whoop. will go find him. That's long enough. Boom. Good night. 14 kill game. Seven's 2 2 split. You thought they were going to lose two to Ents early on as they got crashed in that center compound rush in phase three. But it worked out well. And honestly, you got to hand it to, I think it was Buster and Krabby that were in the south compound. They fought off inside games. They came with two, yep. killed them off. Then Game of Legion came piling in all four of them after taking down DA, fought them off, and then still managed to make another move in phase eight and get the central position of the circle in the hay bales. It's really well done. They, they played it well with, yeah. with some serious shifting. Obviously, we had a hard north shift, and then we had a hard uh, west shift or northwest shift, effectively. So, so it's an interesting circle finish. It's one we haven't seen before. Love to see it. And a 14-point win. Seven, where have you been all phase three? Ain't that just the question we'll find out, I'm pretty sure, with Paul waiting down with the boys. That's a good question. We'll ask, uh, we'll ask the Dovnik now. Um, the, the casting team have just said, where have seven been so far? I say one phrase. Что пацаны соскучились по интервью? Сейчас будет весело, я думаю, да? Okay. I don't know. At first day, we, we don't fought our, our game. And uh, today we just uh, take game to our hands and just start to play how we he need uh, how we need to play, you know. And that's all. It was much better today, but yesterday you were second on Miramar in the second game. So Miramar was okay yesterday and, and better today. Yeah, sure. Miramar is better today mm, because uh, we fixed a lot of uh, problems in rotations and. Uh, just adaptive to other teams in Promo. It's very hard against all of these other teams, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard because it's not uh, comfortable, you know, after PL. Yeah. So you've got to play very hard now. Yeah. <laughs> well, best of luck. Well done. Uh, seven have won the second match of the day. Let's find out what our uh, members on the team made of that one.
down, the game we just saw, everything changed. And about, I think it was phase five of the circle, that shift, those very aggressive pushes from pretty much almost everyone. Walk me through that that big fight we saw. I mean, the big, question, uh, the big thing was that it was a big open field in the center. There wasn't much to play from, and you wanted to be aggressive there because you wanted to make sure you had a spot to play from. Now, Seven, on the other hand, they did a 2-2 two -two split there, making sure that they had as much angles as possible. But, I mean, they only needed two players, right? <laughs> they were pretty much just clearing the border. I was surprised that Ents didn't manage to flush them out earlier. Uh, Ents taking that house there, and I was just unlucky for them, honestly. But I like to see these different circles. Anti and Demon, they were talking about it. and like, yeah, the phase compound is no longer God. We saw a very Western shift in circle three, uh, three where we saw Ents move into this house. And after that, it was basically 80% fields. Mm. And it was extremely hard to play around. But it was nice to see um, Seven here be able to pull it up. Now they're actually back at it. They're, They've they're been be having a really good day today. They had nine kills in the previous yeah. game, 14 kills in this game with a win, of course. I mean, compared to yesterday, they had seven kills overall. Now they had 23 just from two games. Yeah. Why Fantastic. do you think with Seven they struggled so much in PEL? Because they really did not show up during PEL. Now we're starting to see glimmers of why they were there to begin with. What, what do you think was the reason that they just couldn't perform during the regular phase? Seven for me is one of those teams that are, they are obviously outside our top eight in PEL. You knew, they really showed that they did not come prepared for PEL. It, uh, PEL is a marathon. You need to be consistent over these 96 games and they just didn't show the consistency to stay uh, outside the relegation zone. Here though, in this lobby, which is obviously weaker because we don't have our very strong teams from PL, they can do something like this. They have the space. There is more space to play on and more space to, uh, to take against these teams, which makes them or enables them to get games like this. The thing is, during PL, you get punished for a lot more things than you get punished for here. So they get away with some stuff that you would get yeah. punished for in PL itself. Here, they're free to roam around more or less. And when they're free to roam around, they know exactly what to do. They just point and shoot. PG18 sitting in third place. It's the first time we've sort of started seeing them move up the leaderboard. Why do we talk so highly of this contenders team? I mean, PG18 is a team that we expected to do good. First of all, they did good in the contenders overall. So that's one of the reasons. Second of all, they have an amazing lineup, amazing players. They do have... Um, all the experience you need to play on a LAN to be able to perform. The thing is that we just haven't really seen that yet. Yeah. Now this game, it looked good. Towards the end, I mean, if the circle didn't shift that hard from them, we would probably see even more from them. Yeah, if it was a bit more northern circle, they would actually manage to get even more damage than this. But this is impressive, 2400 plus damage with the 14 kills there for 7. We might see another 1k club with this. Uh, uh, or we, at least we're going to get close, I think. Uh, we'll see about that though. But PG18 with this game here, they're gonna more than double their current points compared to the six previous matches. So this is a great start for them. We have the guys from 7 Esports here on the kill leaders. You got Buster with six, Crab with four, and Elvis with three. I mean, it's not unexpected to see them out there. We know that they can frag out. We've Ooh. seen that before. Yeah, they're close there. Sadovnik also in the top five of damage. I'm curious what Sadovnik said to the camera in Russian. I want to. I want to find I out. Also, I if you're Russian and you speak Russian, please clip that. What Sadovnik said and translate it. I want to know exactly what it means. One of the things he did say was that this is quite scary. Admitting a little bit there. Obviously, English isn't his first language, but admitting there that this is scary. This is the pressure is now on. That pressure must be very different if you're a PL team versus a contenders team. I mean, the thing is, people have expectations from them because they came from PL, right? They played with the big boy in the big boy league. Now they're coming down here, they should be more experienced, they should be able to be, become the top four. Unity, the surprising team yesterday, we mentioned them. What have you thought of their performance today? I think uh, with this uh, refreshed lineup that they've brought to the PEL Pro and what they're playing with in the last phase, I think this is what makes them come back into the PEL, honestly. With this, some of the tendencies we've seen them so far, this is what I want to see from them. They have, uh, obviously, an Octave joined them, Amazing player, amazing experience. So this might just be what they needed. Combine that with Orange, so far it's been top fragging in the tournament. I think he's still going to be top fragging after this. I think they're going to make it into, uh, back into PL, just uh, like what we've seen from these 30 some percent of the matches so far. I got to agree. We saw a lot of good stuff from Orange when he was playing here as well. So, I mean, this is not uh, unexpected at all. And 
with an active only lineup, that's just a huge upgrade, I'd say, for them. I get to ask them lots of questions, and now you do as well. So don't forget, if you're tweeting, you can ask these gents any questions you want, and just use the hashtag AskPEL. You can also throw some questions to our casters as well, and maybe we'll answer them possibly after the next game. But now I want to find out a little bit more about our latest chicken dinner winners. So let's take a look at seven.